Good morning everyone, Adnan here, I'm the property expert in East London. Just wanted to share something with you guys. So recently there's been a lot of press about the local housing market, but I feel that it's no longer um, as much of a priority as it was with the election um, that happened earlier, um, earlier in the year. So the priority seems to be Brexit and the NHS and a few other things, uh, but I thought um, I would summarise everything I've read and bring it uh, across to you guys. So I read an article recently which said Wolfhamstow is now the second least affordable place in London based on the income of local residents. So local residents' average income is around £28,000, which is um, a, a long way off the um, average price, which is around the £450,000 figure. And this has also um, been a trend in the median house prices for the UK. So the house price is around 7.7 .7 times the median price in the UK. Both of these are probably at record highs and it's not really a good sign of where things are going. In addition to that, home ownership has been declining over the last 10 years, whereas actually increasing over the previous um, 100 years or so. So putting these things in context, I think there's a few things that people should be aware of and maybe something for the politicians and those in charge to review the way housing, is, housing policy is looked at in the UK. So as a result of the housing becoming uh, a lot more unaffordable, this is causing a couple of things to happen. One, people are moving out into the suburbs, uh, which means you know the, the cities are becoming less dynamic. And the second thing is people are finding it harder to be in the places where they are actually working. It means they're taking longer time to travel in, and together all of this is impacting productivity. There's been a lot of studies recently which have actually said that productivity in the UK is actually at an all-time low. And this could be one of the reasons which is causing that to um, happen. So there's a few things which we think can help the ease the housing crisis. In 2015 and 16, there were only 150,000 houses built when there was a requirement for about 300,000 houses. This kind of shortfall has been common for the last 10, 15 years, and all that shortage in supply is causing prices to go up. One of the things that can happen to make house building easier is to change the planning laws. There's lots of uh, brownfield sites, some green uh, Greenbelt sites which can potentially be developed by easing housing policy, uh, easing planning policy. So for example in Surrey there are more golf courses, there's more land for golf than there are there's land for houses. In addition to that, according to one study, there's enough land to build an additional 1.6 million homes if planning laws were eased. In addition to planning laws, the next thing that we would suggest looking at is stamp duty. It's an upfront cost for anyone wishing to purchase a new home and it can often cause those that are moving into a new property to reassess their options. So it's a cost not only for those who are in a property and looking to move elsewhere, potentially downsizing, but also for those who are looking to buy their first home, it's a major factor in the consideration. We believe that fair, a fair tax system is just and it's, it's required but where stamp duty has been gradually increasing over the last so many years, it's become a prohibitive cost and something that needs to be looked at. And the other thing which we've identified is council tax. Now, if more houses are built, it should increase the council tax revenue for local government. Unfortunately, the council tax revenue, this additional revenue, gets palmed off to the central government, who then choose to spend it in their own way. But the new residents that move in, the social costs and the cost of providing schooling and etc. falls on local government. This obviously causes some issues and it's not really a fair system. There are a few things that are in the pipeline. For example, Labour have proposed the land value tax, which is a different system to the council system in place. And this is something that people could look at. So if government policy is analysed and amended, it will make house building easier and hopefully give some of the local people a chance to stay in the areas that they know and love, rather than having to move out in the suburbs or moving away from where they've grown up and live in an area which they're not entirely happy to live in. Just some of the proposals which we've you know, looked into and we think could work. There's no kind of a fail-safe system, uh, but what is, what's required is for everyone to work together, both professional uh, bodies, house builders, government officials to create a system which is fairer and works for everyone in the economy and not just for some of the people who are already in accommodation um, and I think something that everyone should assess. So thank you for watching and we hope you follow our channel um, on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and we'll be posting more videos like this and if there's anything further you'd like to discuss do drop us a message and we hope to speak to you guys soon. Thank you.